All right, we all know the Fire TV Stick isn't perfect, okay? And what's one of the biggest issues with it, I think, is that the Fire TV Stick remote doesn't have that simple little button that comes on a lot of basic Android TV boxes that allows you to pop a little mouse on screen and control it with the directional keys. But in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to put mouse mode on your Fire TV Stick in 2022. So you can simply double click the play and pause button twice popping a mouse on screen and using the directional keys to control it. Now this can be extremely useful in third party applications as you're able to move around in places that you might not have been able to reach before as not all apps are optimized for the Fire TV stick. Now, if you want the full RIN tutorial, you could go ahead and check it out down below in the description. It's right on my website. I'll teach you how to install the Fire TV Stick mouse mode in just a few minutes. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and then comment down below where in the world you are. I always love to see where my subscribers are from. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let's go ahead and get into today's Fire Stick TV tutorial. So make sure you just load up your Fire Stick. I got mine all set up here and we're just gonna walk through the simple steps. It doesn't take too long guys. So just stick around and be patient as we walk through. Once again, full tutorial on my website. So the first thing we're gonna have to do before we do anything is go into settings. And that is just the gear on the far right here. Um, everybody should have the new interface by now. So you're gonna wanna go to My Fire TV. And this lets us access developer options, which in turn will let us use unknown sources and ADB debugging. So you're gonna to wanna to turn on both by pressing okay on your remote. So press turn on, don't worry about it. This is normal. Anything that's not in the Amazon app store will have this pop up. So just go ahead, press turn on, not a big deal. So make sure both of these options are on. That will save us a little bit of time going forward. So now we're gonna to wanna to back all the way out and you wanna to go, to go to the new app store section, which is available just right here on the far right with the three little boxes and then click on the app store. Of course, you can also click on the app store icon, but I like using the new shortcut. So we're gonna click on it. And then from here, we wanna to go to the search area and we're gonna to wanna to search and install an app that most of you are probably familiar with and that is Downloader. So go ahead and type in Downloader. So you can either type in the full word or it's usually one of the first ones to pop up because it's such a popular app. I'll just type it in just for the sake of the video. So downloader right here and you'll see downloader app. You can just click on the first option. Any of these will work. And it's the noticeable orange app with the little arrow pointing down. Now we're gonna go ahead and open it up. You still have to install yours. So I'll give you a few seconds. Keep in mind this app, all it is is a browser that just prompts downloads instead of needing a file explorer app as well. All you have to know about it is it makes things a little bit easier. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go directly to the search bar right here, and you're gonna wanna type in a code I made for you guys, and this just lets you access my website super quick, and that code is 773820. And that's how easy it is to get access to this, 773820. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and press go. And this will load up my website, the download section that is of my website. You can see it's redirecting. It just takes a few seconds. So we'll be patient. Now, the first thing I suggest you doing is as I'm still working on my download site, I suggest adding it to your favorites. This way you can access all the new downloads I have and all the new apps that I'm offering. So you can go ahead and in the top right here, the three dots, I think my face is kind of hiding it. Sorry guys, uh, you're gonna see the three lines. Click on the three lines and then press add current page to favorites. This way you can easily access the downloads page and always stay up to date. date. Uh, I already have it saved, so it's not gonna let me, but you guys get the point. Now, another thing you can do before we go any further in the video is go to the three lines right here and then you can go to the giveaway section where I'm actually giving away a $100 Amazon gift card to one of my subscribers. Uh, all you have to do is enter your email. So if you scroll down, you're gonna see once this loads and you can also do this on your desktop or your phone if you want as well. You can see, use your email, enter your email and then all you have to do is verify it and you'll be entered to win. There's other ways to enter as well. You can subscribe, 
uh, and you just have to click these and these will give you more entries into the giveaway. So that's that guys, just wanted to throw that out there as it does end in one day. So I wanted to give everybody else a chance to enter. So now you're gonna scroll down until we get to the Fire Stick apps section. We're gonna go ahead and click on this and it's just gonna take a few seconds to prompt and then you're gonna go and scroll and press install on this prompt right here. Now this installs the app in just a few seconds. Here we go, here we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and click open and now I will teach you how to use the mouse toggle for Fire Stick. All right, and before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out IP Vanish. They're the ones that make some of these videos possible as they are one of my sponsors. Now, IP Vanish does keep you protected while you're online by hiding your activity even from your internet service provider so they can't even save the logs of what you're doing. On top of that, you can access apps such as Netflix and Prime Video using split tunneling, which is a new feature. I offer the best discount possible if you click the link right down below, guys. $44 for the year or $10.99 a month with a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee. Now, I'm completely truthful when I say, do you 100% need it? No. Is it a great added option? Yes. And it does as well support me. So if you want to support my content, purchasing it does give me a little kickback. So that way I can continue to make more content for you. So make sure you consider getting your VPN through me if you want. Let's go ahead and check out how to use the mouse toggle. All right, and we're back to our mouse toggle. We're gonna go ahead and open it up here and you're gonna see this screen pop up. Now, because we already activated the ADV settings, you don't have to do anything else. You can just see status is starting. Now, one of your options with the mouse toggle is to select auto start when it starts up. You're gonna to wanna to press allow on this as well when allow USB debugging. I'm gonna press always allow from this computer. Now, you can either have it automatically start up at when you start the device, or you can turn that off, and then you'll have to go into the app in order to start it. I like having it on at all points. Now, how you activate the mouse toggle is pretty simple. You just press this play and pause button right here, and you double tap it. So I'll show you right here on screen what I mean by that. So we're going to go into a different application. Let's go ahead and go into something like YouTube, okay? Something that you know we're on right now. Now, you're gonna, we're gonna let it load up for a second. Hopefully you guys don't see any weird recommendations from me. We're gonna go ahead and skip that. Now, you're gonna see here, obviously you can use the app like normal because this is an official app, so it's gonna interact well with the interface. In order to activate the mouse mode, once again, we're gonna double click it, and you're now gonna see a little halo ring on the screen. If you guys can see that moving around right now, I'll try to blow it up a little bit so you guys can check it out. Now with this, we can move it with the directional keys. We can move it little bits just by tapping, or we can hold it down and it moves faster. Now you can see as it hovers over the different options, it does interact as it should with the buttons. So that means it is a functional keyboard, or sorry, a functional mouse. Um, I know some people with the new NVIDIA update have been having issues with the mouse mode not working, but luckily it is still working for Fire Stick. Amazon has not blocked it yet, thankful. Now, in order to turn it off, you can just press this little back button right here, press it once, and that shuts off the mouse mode. Um, so that's the easiest way I find to shut it off. Now let's go ahead and test it in another app here. Let's exit out. Uh, just so I can show you guys that it has a lot of different uh, options to work. So let's go here, let's go to my apps. And let's go ahead and open up File Explorer, for example. Now, File Explorer, once again, an official app, so you shouldn't have any issues with it. We will double tap, and here it is, the mouse on screen. And just to show that you can interact with anything, we'll go ahead and open up some stuff here. So if we wanted to, we could open up Mouse Toggle. This is the install file, and I'm using this all just with the mouse mode on my remote. So that's really it, guys. That's how simple it is to use mouse mode and to install it. Now, if you want to check out the video on how to block future Amazon updates from your Fire TV stick, you can go ahead and check it out right above here, guys. That will help you block out any future Amazon updates so they can't get rid of your third-party apps. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.